All righty. Hello. Welcome in. This is the Carthage Firebird stream for Carthage College. I am Wes, or we all cool. And I'm joined by uh, Andrew. What do you what do you go by, Cash? Your name? Turbo Juggler 32. What? Turbo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm not going to. That's a Yeah, it's a, mouthful, it's a, it's a long spiel. And you just call me Wes. Wes yeah. and Andrew, of course. We mm -hmm. are here. Um, I'm usually coaching, but I'm uh, stepping in here because uh, one of our casters. Uh, had to go so here we go just for fun again um we just won on breeze uh pretty handily i don't remember the exact score 11 uh, thir uh, 13 5 13 6 yeah something like that. around there yeah so uh pretty good first uh match of the day last week obviously 0 and 2 so not so great um what are you looking at going into bind here second match <laughs> I'm looking at our team to just continue to execute sites well and get frags, you know, casually here. I mean, we, well, the stream didn't see it, but we saw it that our team was just going at it against Indiana Tech. They were just clearing out sites left and right. I mean, Geo with the, with the Marshall, I mean, he was just doing his work, yeah. man. He was, he was doing his work. Yeah. To be fair, some of that was the, like, they were, the enemy was kind of missing some shots. Let's be real here. <laughs> Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, there's some open yeah. area where he's out exposed, and he got some some nice shots that he should not have been able to get all. Yeah. But here we go into the buy phase of the first round of bind. It looks like we are going to be starting on this defensive side. Uh, we did narrow it down to the last two maps of Lotus and Bind, so we chose starting side. So I guess team captains uh, on our side decided, hey, let's just start on that defensive side because on Bind, it's usually the more advantageous side to start on. Yeah, and just for clarification, this is Carthage versus Kansas State University. Kansas State University ranked two eighteen, Carthage one eighty as of right now. We're gonna be getting set for round one. Carthage on the defense, and Kansas State on the attack. And this is a classic setup, right? We got two on B and three towards A, and it's because B is a little easier to uh, lock down with the utility that you can place there. Um, you can see uh, on the other side, they actually have the Killjoy, which we normally have here. We're actually opting not to do it, but we do have the Cypher, so he's going to have that uh, trip mine. You see he's kind of isolated in their pushing site. It's a five stack into Quarter's site, and he's plant. alone, and nah, through the smoke too. That's Kelioth dead. So it's a 3v5 retake for Carthage on this defensive side. Let's see what they can do here. Obviously... Not winning the man advantage, as you said, 3v5 post-plant situation. Kinetic just holding an angle in garden, waiting to see. Got some music in the background, too. Yeah, that's, no, that's nice. Slum Dank getting, like, well, getting the that? frag. <laughs> Coney's getting a frag oh, as the well. Oh, oh, Samoyed. 2v2. <gasps> 1v1. Oh. Oh. Oh, 2v1, sorry. Excuse me. I, I thought it was a 1. I thought he was going to get that kill. but. Okay, looks like we're going to have some game audio issues. This is happening earlier, too, but we're just going to cast yeah, right through it. Yeah, we're just going to go through it. last you know? time we tried to fix it, didn't work. And it crashed. And it <laughs> right. So we you don't guys got robbed again. of the first game. We don't want to rob you of the second game, so we're just going to uh, sit tight. No game audio. I mean, that's not really that big of an issue as long as you hear us and, you know, you see the game and you see what's happening. You know, that's really all that matters at the end of the day. But right. nonetheless, though, Kansas State coming away with that round one win. Great execution on the bomb site. And yeah, it's just hard for Carthage to retake that. Flashing through, through mid, you see two. a three stack through mid here towards A. That's an interesting decision. You see some bodies are gonna come through the bathroom as well. So this is a full take on A. They are not rotating out just yet. You see there's some swings coming through on it. the side of the door. Slumdang gets the refrag for Happy Samoyed, but he's going to get pinched very, very soon, and there it oh, is. Oh, and Relton. Person from Uwa can push out and get one. That They're going to get caught out, and that's Kelly up dead. Leaving it all up to Geo, I believe, on the Cypher in a 1v3. Let's see what Geo can do here. It's a 1v3 post plan situation, so it's going to be tough kinetic. It's going to be peaking lamps. Just trying to find Geo. Putting out a passive Geo, walking in close to lamps. Still trying to figure out what he's going to do here. Geo's going to get soggy. Oh, oh and he's not going to get kinetic as he just reads them like a book there in. Kansas stayed up too early. Yeah, it looked like Geo didn't expect a second one to be there no. and then just had his knife out and <laughs> was running. <laughs> Got gunned down, but hey, valiant effort. But oh, two down. Now it's the buy round. And Carthage, we now have to figure out what are we going to do to stop this momentum. If you lose this, then it's back to an eco, and that's a lot of rounds in a row. So you have to start fighting back 
I think that this is going to be a time where the setup might change slightly because they've gone to each site once and the setups have not slowed it down enough for the rotate to come through. The rotate's just going to be too slow. They are not going for any baits where you bait them to rotate and then go to the other site. It's been straight play into the sites that they've chosen. Yeah, so they definitely changed some strategy here. Yeah, they're already down 2-0. We don't want to get down 3-0. And uh, we'll see what Carthage can do here. And Samoyed's going to get Cherik right away. That's going to be a good opening pick for the Firebirds on defense. They're going to come into contact with Soggy. Oh. Samoyed's going to be blinded, but slum dank. The wall bang on Soggy. That's what you like to see. 5e3 situation. Geo with the overhead here. He's got the eagle eye. He's waiting. With this camera, it's and he see sees kinetic. one, that's going to be enough at least to feed the info. They know that the rest of them should be bodied up here onto the B site. He's going to back off after getting one. He has the support here. Will his teammate be there? The plant coming through. They should hear this. It looks like he might get the plant complete, and he does. Gio's but he going to get him. Quarters is dead, and it's all up to his friend. Oh. Well, Ralton can get one, but Gio's going to swing or, or be dead. Excuse me. We're going to see Slumdang swing out from Hookah. Ralton gets a second with that, Marshall. They're going for the defuse. They're halfway there, and then Coney can get that kill and finish it off. A little bit of a costly round, but still, they get the win. Yeah, great execution from Carthage there. Cutting their deficit to one, and yeah, it's, that's exactly what they needed to do it, to get on the board, as you don't want to fall behind in games like this, because if you do it, the confidence is just going to fizzle out as it goes on. But Carthage sticking to their, their strategy, and, you know, they're prevailing. I like the aggression they had pushed up through bathroom. And that's not something we saw them do before. They're playing a little more passive on site. This time, or last round rather, you saw Slumdink pushed with Happy into the bathroom, got a couple of picks, and then from there you have man advantage and they, they have to go for a late push towards the other site. Kind of going to try to peek right away. He's not going to get any heads that time around. He's going to yeah. be lurking in lamps. Position on truck, not going to work out to start off the round. Peeking Moyed. out is happy. Oh, just misses that one. Moyed, not able to get the kill, but he does push them back, and then a smoke is there to support him. So these attacking players not able to push through bathroom, and they're going to back away, it seems, at least temporarily. They're all kind of dispersed out right now. We're going to see them maybe come form together somewhere. It just looks like three are in mid, and one's off to the site and then one's in a site that's going to be kinetic that you're seeing right now less than a minute remaining though got to find a way to get this plant down if you're kansas state but if you're carthage you got to make sure you don't let them get the opening yeah ksu just waiting i think they're going for a little bit of a bait they're hoping that they'll think that they've rotated to the other site but they're still here in towards mid going to attack the a site you see omen dropping the smoke towards heaven and here comes the site execution. The dog from Happy Samoyed is going to get caught out, but it does feed the information. Cherik gets a kill. Coney Kinetic. is dead. Kinetic onto Slum Dank. Cherik finding a second on a Happy Samoyed. And Quarter's that is going to give them a huge advantage here. Huge advantage. 2v5 post plant situation for Carthage. As KSU took the A site. You see Geo and Kalioth left. See what they can do. Quarter is just camping the spike, wisely doing that. Geo is going to get kinetic. Swamp grenade. Kalioth is going to peek Soggy. Oh, he can't get Relton. Oh, and Relton is going to get a wall bang on the Geo. KSU extends their lead to two. Yeah, three to one now. And it started on the back of really quick execute after a delay, right? And that's exactly what they were hoping for on their side, where it's like, okay, we showed some bodies here. But then let's back off and just play patiently. They're not going to fully commit on the defensive side to one thing or the other. And so that, you know, they're going to have to really be split apart from one side to the other, from one site to the other. So that's when you go for the fast execute. And that's what was really costing Carthage rounds early. They kind of went back to that formula. But this time, you know, Carthage, their aggression didn't pay off with the pick. You saw Happy had pushed a little bit into yep. the bathroom. Had he gotten a pick there, you know, maybe it's a different round, but it didn't happen. Yep. We're underway with round five. Soggy's going to be in bathroom this time around. He's going to rotate out of bathroom, though, into lobby. Cherik's going to be playing B-Long. He's not going to see anybody quite yet. The patient's paying off. Poor Cherik. I think he's going to be able to take sight here, and his teammates should be rotating now through Hookah. You see the drone coming through. Ralton gets Coney in the meantime. That's the opening pick now for KSU to open things up. They already have an advantage in rounds now. 
advantage in the man count department as they start to take B site. Watch out for the trip wires. Cherik trying to find Geo. He's going to get into one of the traps. Unless the quarter is being able to get the plant off. It's a 3v5 situation again for Carthage. Just allowing KSU to take the site. And it's an eco round, you know, but you still want to get at least a couple kills here. Keep their econ in check, but so far it's been all KSU kinetic. Gets Geo and Slumdank and Happy are the oh, only ones okay, left. Slumdank that's a good does shot. get one. Gotta hope that you can find one more. Oh, you can't do it. Kinetic with a 3k on the round. Up 4-1 now is Kansas State. Yeah, just again, another another great take by KSU there. Being able to plant the spike in Carthage. Just a little spread out, like you said, Wes, across both of the sites. And the patience for KSU as well really won them that round. And that's what they're sticking to for their formula. And you know, you know what to say? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, it's it's hard on a map like this where you have to go either through a teleporter or through your own spawn on the defensive side, right? Go through CT to get from one bomb site to the other. That's a long way around. Yeah. Uh, if they can bait out your utility, then you go for a fast execute. It's really hard to stop that. You're relying on gun skill and positioning on the defense to really win out, and there's limited options. We're going to be getting into round six. Quarter is going to be in bathroom this time. It's looking like an A-site push for KSU. we got three stacked here for uh, Carthage's side of things. But they've already gotten in and started to take sight, and they can start getting a uh, plant in. down. Oh. Cherik gets a refrag after Whoa. Happy did get a kill on a quarters, but Geo also fell. Cherik trying to go for a 3K. He's Ooh. not going to get Samoyed, but Kinetic is going to find Samoyed right away for the refrag. Plant was going to go down. It gets stopped, and now it is going to be planted. Boombot goes through but doesn't see anything. It's a much more favorable situation for Carthage. Oh, but it's not there as Kinetic. It's going to get Coney, but Slumdank with the refrag. He's actually going to get two. Oh, but he can't get Soggy. That was watching the blind side. Ooh, teabagging. Okay. Yeah, I think they did that before. <laughs> okay. Just didn't notice it. Hopefully our teammates saw that because uh, that's that's good motivation there for, yeah. for the players. I think this would be a good time for Carthage to start using their timeout for this half. at one on each side. Yep. If I was a coach, this would be a time where I would probably call that because it's going into a an eco round, so you could plan out a little bit more what you want to do. Do you force here? But then also you talk about the future rounds. You know, when you do get a rifle round, what do you want to do? You had three stacked there, and they fed into you. It was a good opportunity, and we got a decent amount of frags, but still just wasn't all there for us. What can you do to change it up? Just get that little bit more of an edge. Peek out from Happy Smud gets one, but then... Carlton and Quarters find Kellyeth and Happy Samoyed to give them a man advantage. Quarters launching the firebolt out. It's not going to see anybody just yet. Didn't check below. Doesn't know we'll that go. somebody's right below him, though, on that drone. Oh. Sagi's going to get Coney. And uh, Red <clears throat> Redden's going to be planting. Relton, excuse me. It's a 2v4 Ooh, situation This could again. be the perfect oh. opportunity. Fight the person in hookah, but now without the wall up anymore... It's just One him alone. His teammate dies. Oh. And quarters cleans up the round. They only lost one body as well. This is kind of starting to get a momentous wave against Carthage. KSU just dominating. Yeah, it's a, it's a five-round gap now, and KSU is looking like they know what they're doing. They know their P's and Q's. They know what they want to run, and Carthage has to find a way to break that ceiling and get more round wins in their favor. Looks like the players are being stacked a little bit in those sites too, which doesn't really help. They need to be spread out. But then again, if they're spread out, then that means that KSU could take, you know, the site. So they're kind of in a pickle right now. Yeah, they're in, they're in a bad spot. Um, at least their play is showing that this is looking a little bit rougher. And I know that Chris, the IGL, said I want I. He wanted Bind because he wants kind of to, to re-up it. He wants to retry it. Oh, my this goodness. This is what happens, Cherik. Cherik. Wow. Wow. Double. Tony and Happy Smoyed both bodied, taken out with that first engagement. And now it's a 3v5, and the round still has over a minute left. Geo does get, get kinetic. kinetic. Slumdink, I don't know if he saw that person mid. He's going to rotate to heaven. It seems like he probably did. A sentiment remaining here, 3v4 situation for Carthage. And again, the KSU getting these opening picks as well is definitely contributing to the round wins and this big round gap that we're seeing. Relton's going to be planting. Slam, slum dunk is going to get two. 
Jesus, a hard name to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she would say it so many different can't ways. Get the kill though. Oh, well, the seeker doesn't catch him, but he does. Oh, he got get another. Oh. oh, Sterling's getting some massive kills here to bring it back. It's a two v two now. It's doable. It's a Kelly winnable the situation. And Geo on the flank. Oh, he's going for the tap. Kaleo's going to try to go for the defuse. Well, his KSU teammate died. Be shuffling. Oh, what's a one v two? It's so Soggy. hard. Oh, and, and the Relton. double peak. It ain't going to happen. It was yeah. a valiant effort, but Gio really needed to not die there. He should have baited, waited for Krista to hit the spike and then draw them in, and then he could have gone for that flank. Yeah. It would have been a better play, but instead he was a little too aggressive, I think, there. They didn't play together properly, and that's just going to cost you, and just that one-man difference makes the round different. Yeah, it's big. That hurts. So, that was yeah. the round to win. Yep. It's a six-round advantage now. Or a few rounds away before halftime. And if you're Carthage, you just want to win as much rounds as possible before half. Well, the, as a 7-5 halftime would would be ideal for Carthage Ooh. here. Ooh, that's a good opening pick from Geo. That's what we need to see from Carthage here. Getting the opening picks and just preventing... KSU from running their style of offense, which is just going straight into the sights as they're opening up for them. It's impactful, too, because that's the smokes. So there's no more smokes on the side of KSU, so they have to rely on flashes and information coming in through the silver darts. Uh, that's really all they've got to try and get in a sight execute. So that's going to really Relton's hurt them. But Relton, oh two. my, they just wow. stacked up right for him. Be long. Man advantage back to KSU. 3v4 situation. Soggy's going to have the open lane to plant in the A site. Swarm grenades going around the spike. Smart play from Relton. Two on the flank. Up through Hookah. Carthage. One. Geo still sitting short of sight. Cherik is going to get two. Geo, the last Oof. remaining member for Carthage. He started off the round, and, and that Relton was the only kill we got. Yikes, Relton with a 3k that time in round 9, and yeah, this has just been all KSU so far. Time for a call, uh, call that timeout. We got three more rounds left of this half. You have to do it. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, you're just wasting it, because then you've reset on the on the round, or the, the half split, right? Like, you get one timeout per half. So, at this point, I'm just not going to use it. I mean, as a coach watching this, who I normally already have called the timeout, it's like, what are we doing? We haven't won yeah. a round in how long now? It's been quite a time. Like, we need to get this figured out. Yeah, just but, take uh, the timeout to have a mental reset, talk things over. Yeah, I'm not sure why they're not taking the timeout. I mean, we're on the verge of having Instead, we go so. for an aggressive push up through mid. So here we go, five stacking up. We're going to go for a full retake. They have to respect the site and take a little bit of time. Are they going to hear this? And there goes Coney with his alt. He Fita gets satchel. one. All right. Open there we things go. up for yourselves. Boombot's going to come through. The peaks come through. There's one. Kinetic's oh, going to get kinetic. two, though. Oh, my. Massive round from him. Molly's going to go Peak out. Peak outs from Lamps. 2v2. Are we going too aggressive here? Chris pushing Kaley into the smoke. In smoke right now. I can't see a thing. Here's the kinetic's gonna plant be going through. He needs to get this kill. It's going to find it. Kinetic. Oh, and Quarters with the Sova ult. It's a 1v1 situation. Coney and Quarters. Bomb wasn't planted though, so it's all up to the attacker to pick this fight properly. Coney can just play defensively here. Play for time, but it's 40 seconds. It's a long time to kill. And he's going to escape the dart by going into Lamps, oh, but it's going to reveal his location. Get He's going for the going spam, for but he's going to peek him. Oh, oh no, he peeks the wrong side of the him. wall. And Quarter is going to win for KSU. Insult to injury, planting the spike as well. And yeah, that's one that Carthage should have had. Yeah, that was rough. Uh, that's very winnable round. Again, that's what, two in the span of three rounds where we had rifles and we're down to basically 1v1. Uh, just, yeah, it's just, just not clicking, apparently. And this is why you call a timeout. It's not as if you don't have the possibility of winning around without one. Clearly you do. But that timeout could have been the, just the edge they need, just a little bit more time. You also slow down the momentum of the other team. That's what timeouts yes. are used for. It's not just to help you. It's also just to give a break and make the other team not be able to ride the wave that they're on. And clearly they've been riding it pretty well because they have not given up a round. I don't even know how long now. What's the streak? Do you know? Ah, I think it's like eight straight, I think, right? One, one. Something that like it? that. Yeah. Whew. Seven, eight straight, something like that. Cherik going to be on top. Going to get double. Oh. oh. 
Carrick does shut it down, but still, that is going to be a very good opening for Carthage. Something they desperately needed after the last few uh, rounds in a row where we haven't really been able to capitalize off of anything. Not for sure. They have the man advantage, 4v3 situation, less than a minute remaining. Might see a B site push coming in from KSU. Samoyed's going to be playing A link. Could get, could get caught out here if he's not careful. But looks like that flank watch player is going to start pushing towards Puka a little bit, but he's coming back. Oh, are they going to all come back? Cherik, does he check this corner properly? Ooh. Some boy just going to stay patient. No, he no, missed it. He misses to the, the headshot. Oh, no. Cherik punishes him for oh, it. Oh, no. That's that's, that's one a. you got to have. 3v3, 20 seconds well, remaining. We're going to see a heavy <gasps> take on the A site. Oh, Slum gets one. one. Oh, he can't get two. Kinetic. Cherik is going to be planting. 2v2 situation. Seconds left on the clock, and the spike's still going to be planted. So close. Yet Geo again. and Kalioth stacked up. That's not a good look. The flash. Does it catch him? It's going to catch him both. Oh, but Geo's going to get Cherik. And he can pick I up that gun. I thought was going to get him. You got one situation. Geo has no health here. 30 HP. He has to peek this out. Geo has to oh, have a he dream here if he, he wants to win this. Wall bang it? No. No, 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 no. Trip wire. no, no, no. Oh, no. And that is not... Oh, it was supposed to be executed kinetic, kinetic 3K what? wall well, bang. This is it. Last before the half, and we're down. <sighs> 1 Thanks. to 10. This is rough. This is not good. Yeah, just just a lot of miscues, Wes, that we're seeing here. I, I mean, in the last, like, what, three or four rounds, we've seen a ton of miscues, and that's just the story of this game for it, Carthage. It feels like what they feel desperate which is what you kind of saw from Clay's positioning there towards mid of just let's watch and wait and hopefully he gets that pick. But that's the problem when you do a solo lurk like that. If you don't get the pick, there's no refrag and you just give up man advantage. It, it, it's a risky play. And now Cherik going to start this off by getting kill onto Slum Dank. That's the Viper down. That's a lot of util that would play for the delay. It's not going to happen. Plant's coming through. Now Plant coming through from Relton. I think about like 80% of these rounds, KSU has found a way to get the opening pick. And that's another deciding factor as well. Samoy is going to try to work his way over to the A site. Going to be multiple flankers. Quarter is going to get Samoy and just not watching the flank. Quarters gets two. Not going to get three though. Kaleoth, a nice snipe with the marshal. Geo is going to find Kinetic. 2v3 situation. Got to find a way to get to the spike. But again, it's a 1v3 situation. Just a tough, tough to scenario swallow. for Carthage. And it's going right? to have to be because there's no time here. And he gets hit by the killjoy as he walks in. Thought he timed it properly. It's over. That's the round. Yep, that and is the round. 11 one half. Wow. Ugly half for Carthage. But really good job from KSU. Don't want to just be the negative side of things. We got to yeah. give praise where it's due. And KSU hitting on all cylinders. Um, they've they played pretty well with these executes. They haven't done any bait outs, but they haven't really needed to. No, they're just sticking to what they're good with, and that's that's what you got to do in a game like this, a strategic 5v5 game like this. You have to stick to what you're good with, and you have to be confident in your teammates to know that the game plan is going to be in fruition for the entire time that you're ahead, or if you're trying to come back and win. That's what's important is the mentality. You know, a lot of people think esports, oh, it's just video games, right? No, it's all... It's all about the mental. It's what it is. I mean, that's why timeouts are so impactful. You know, yeah. you have to reset the time. Uh, timeouts in other sports, somewhat of a break for the body, right? But you right. need a break for the mind. And like you said, this isn't a physically exhausting thing, but nonetheless, it's considered a sport. Why? That mental aspect of it. You know, people lose pounds with how much they're sweating, with how much they're thinking, brain energy. It, it, it adds up. So here we go. Going for the B, execute is Carthage on their first attack here. They're throwing the U2 out. Geo gets the open kill on the Relton. The quarters it's in sight gets one. Slum and then dang, the peak good through flank. gets him. And that should be enough to secure the plant. Kaleoth's going to go for the plant immediately. Geo having his cipher drawn out. Watching the site. Spike's going to be planted. Carthage man advantage four to three on KSU. All the remaining members of KSU kind of stacked up. In the tunnel. They're going to disperse, though. Kinetic is going to get one. Slumdank going to get three. 
Wow, I thought that was Geo, but no. It's Shurik Slumdank. is the last remaining member for KSU. Slumdank coming up huge for Carthage 4K. Carthage wins their first round in quite a long time. Yeah, finally. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to even get hyped over a 4K, even though it's a quad. You know, it's usually impressive, but with how far down they are, it's hard to yeah. get the energy, you know? But uh, hopefully we can see a little bit of life coming into this team. You win a pivotal round to start the momentum in your favor. Uh, but now the shot calling has to be on point and the utility has to be on point. Like everything has to click because the room for error, the margin's small. I yeah. mean, you got one round away from overtime and match point and then two rounds away from a loss, right? Yeah. Like that's all you have. That's not a lot of room to work with no. when you need 11 more for a win. You need 11 in a row from here, including this round. And Gio is going to miss some shots that probably should have landed on a quarter who unwisely peeked out through tree, but he gets away with it. Yep, does get away with it. You see Geo going back to the fountain, but quarters is just come back off. Twenty eleven, that judge. I mean, he got a double up here in hookah, but uh, if there's no one in the hookah, then getting into sight is where it gets a little more difficult with this weapon. Yep, and there's no one here, I and mean, only one person towards short. One person in B site, that's going to be quarters. Coney's using the satchel. Quarters going to get smoked off. And they're just waiting for backup now. I'm waiting Coney for with that shotgun? Ooh, this could be bad. This could be good for Carthage here. With that orb in tandem with him, it's going to be good. Because that should slow down this push and make him play close quarters. Slum Dank going to launch some toxic mist. Kaleos is going to get relted. It's a 5v4 situation for Carthage. Post plant situation. KSU trying to figure out what they're going to do here. There's nice a mosquito shots. in my face. <laughs> Coney and Slumdank <laughs> going to get two. It's a 5v2 situation. 5v1. Soggy's the last one left. Can Geo finish there it, it off? And he does. Wow. Makes up for it in the end. Flawless round for Garthage as they need eight more to tie. And, and what is it? Ten to win? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> it starts here. But the thing is, too, no. You'd be tempted to go with a bonus round, right? Where we would say, okay, keep the weapons you had last round. No one died. It was all a forced buy ish kind of weapons. Um, a half buy, you could say. But now you're going to be up against a full buy on the other side. And yeah. when you only have two rounds to work with before you lose and it's over, you really want to risk that. It looks like they're going to play the economics game, bet a little bit, hope you win this round. Then you're good. Your econ is in a really good position. And you know your opponents have no econ. So it's going to buy you probably a few rounds. Yeah. Um, but it's a risk because you don't win this. You have to buy next round, and you've given up a round that's pivotal when you only have two to spare. Indeed, as we, really get, one to spare. <laughs> <laughs> as we get said for round 15 here. And they're just going straight through yeah, lamps. Yeah, just going straight through into lamps. Into and into, towards CT. Wow. Yep. Aggressive. Slum Dank could be planting immediately. They know it's swinging. Oh, that should have been an easier kill than that. Gio's going to get the refrag, and Coney's going to get on the board. Gets a Relton. That's a good pick. Soggy's going to get two, though. Samoyed and Coney. And that's Kinetic. It. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That was a <laughs> nasty teleport from him. Got into a good position that and was, caught the last two players off guard. That, that was, was aggressive. It looked okay at first, but the information was just so slow to come through that yeah. when the retaking defenders came in, you didn't know where it was coming from. You didn't clear out towards bathroom. So that could have cost you, and it actually did one body before they got the refrag, and then by that point, the, the cavalry had arrived. Yeah. And now, like I said, one round to spare, that was it. Now it's one round away from the loss, and the best you can do is get to overtime. Yep. It is a do or die for Carthage. Quarters is going to launch the fire bolts. He's going to look for his opponents here. He's going to travel... Not find anybody quite yet. He's going to launch oh, this. Oh, nice shot, going to find Geo, and oh, my, Geo, the Vandal. Oh, well, we got our full by now. So that's good. Come in. Utilize that. There's a judge up close here in Hookah, though. Is Kony going to be ready Kony's for this peek out? watch out. Oh, he has to watch oh, out. Oh, he's not going to win the fight. The boom bot's going to uh, Kalios is going to win the fight, though. It's a 4v3. Carthage man advantage again. Less than a minute remaining. Costs a lot of health, though. Helios is down to do. 65, and they're going to use the stimmy and just get out of there. Go towards A. There's still one player here, and that's going to be, I believe, uh, the wall hacks coming through from Geo. 
allow them to see. They got some information at least on Cherik's position. The dog's going to come through the feet even more. We're going to see a Viper wall go up too. Again, still a man advantage, and it's going to be a quick A site pursuit. Slumdank's going to get Cherik, but he had run it back though. Ooh, Slumdank was a little aggressive. That didn't need to peek out. And now so he's going to get Slumdank. Going to give a lot of room towards bathroom, and there it is, Cherik. Getting Cherik getting two Geo 1v3 situation. Oh man, it's do or die for him. He gets one. Kinetic onto the fuse. Gets two. But can't get the oh, third. Oh, he can't get the Kinetic. third one. Kinetic. And that's going to be KSU. Oh, wow. Winning 13-3 in a rough game from Carthage on the back of a, a really, can't even say it any nice way, poor defensive effort. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, that's the story of the game. Just poor execution on that defensive side. Didn't take the tactical timeout. Didn't really ever. do anything. Right, no, ever. No timeouts at all this game. I mean, you as a coach, you have to be a little livid, man. You got... You, yeah. I mean, that, that's why I'm there, I guess. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, they won't call it without me. I mean, I told Chris to do it. But um, I think it's because it's activation, we're just not going to do an interview because we don't normally... Um, on yeah. activation because this is more of an experiment to make sure things are running yep. smoothly. But regular season, we will do interviews. But we'll definitely so, do an interview yep. with uh, with a player or me, I guess, could potentially be interviewed. Yeah. But um, <laughs> activation week, right? We went one and three. We'll see what division we're placed in. This is like a preseason, so just remember that. No big deal. Uh, we'll see how the actual season plays out. But we have more activation games this week, right? We got uh, we got league. We got Overwatch. We got uh, Smash, Smash tomorrow. Yep. Um, and I'll some, be here for some that. other games no one cares about, like Fortnite, you know, Rocket League Club. <laughs> we're not streaming that. So some yeah. things, uh, you know, Rocket League season though, yes, yeah, but that's not till spring. That's, uh, that's not till spring. Yeah. So uh, for now, we don't care about them. Yeah, for now, we don't care about Siege <laughs> either, because that's True. also yeah. spring twenty twenty four. But well, thanks yeah. for joining. Hope it was at least entertaining. But we'll constantly try to improve our casting abilities, yep. and y you can help with that viewership. Um, but hopefully, <laughs> you're just watching for your kid or or whoever you're here for. But um, we appreciate your viewership. We appreciate your time. Um, and that's all I got. Anything else to say? Uh, no, nothing much. Just tune in tomorrow for Smash and, uh, and the rest of the week for the rest of Activation for Carthage. All right. Have a good one. Yep. See ya.